we decided to crowdfund because um, we needed to get this initial funding in place in order to qualify for the leader grant and we didn't have very long to do that um, and we thought crowdfunding would be a good way to do it. Um, and we also thought it would be a good opportunity to get together information about ourselves and get that out to people and, and so we've been yeah, raising, raising the money to build a complete yard from scratch so it's, it's been a really big undertaking. We've got a lot of rescue horses here and it takes time to build trust with them. So for a lot of the young people we work with that have maybe come from foster care, they've had a really difficult traumatic pasts, they can then relate to that horse's past. So Chapas, for example, though he's showing us his bottom, but on his face he's got some scars from bad treatment. So a lot of the young people in foster care will relate to Chapas. So there's an immediate connection there. And then if they can build a relationship with the horse, that can then really help to help with their own attachment issues. Hello Chapas, I've come to show you his scars. It was really a nice opportunity to sit down and really think about Serona um, in a different way than I have before, because up till we started all of this, I was just a practitioner really. So this was the beginning of me really thinking about Serona and how we tell the public what we do. So I think, I think what went really well with the crowdfunding campaign was building support for our move to Dartington and getting the word out there of what we were trying to do. What we're really doing is trying to build resilience in young people, so that's a bit of a buzz term at the moment, but you know, it is about opening opportunities, building skills, building self-confidence, self-esteem, empathy towards another animal. So for young people that have not had much empathy shown to them, who then might perhaps take that out on animals, by coming here and building relationships with the horses and we very much, the horses are very much at the heart of what we do, so it's all about the horses' welfare. Here it's really about learning about the horses' personalities, their backgrounds, what they need that day, so then the young people are modelled that that's maybe a better way to, to behave with each other.